Hello, 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 my dearest listeners. It is me. I am back after a little bit of a hiatus. I had to take a break, and in this episode, I dive in briefly about what's been going on and where I'm at in my journey. Tune in, and I'll talk to you soon. Hello, my lovely listeners. I am back after a bit of a hiatus. I first and foremost apologize for the delay. Um, I take full responsibility and accountability for taking such a lag on creating another episode. And I just wanted to hop on here and give everyone an update as to why that hiatus happened and to give you a brief check-in on what I'm doing. And so thank you for being here. <laughs> it's nice to be back. Um, you know, in all honesty, when I started the podcast, I did realize it was going to be a lot of work, but I didn't realize how much work it was going to be. Um, I'm also sick right now, if you can tell. And uh, ironically, this podcast is all about how to listen to yourself and avoid burnout so that you don't end up like I am right now with founders fatigue. <laughs> um, so in summary, I have so much going on and I had to take a break from the podcast just because I'm a woman that wears many hats and I had to sacrifice something. So I do, again, apologize for those who listen to me closely. It's been a while and I know that consistency is key. <laughs> However, I am a big proponent of self-care and doing what's right for us in the moment. And I had to just put the pod on the side for a second, but I'm back. And for future reference, if you don't hear from me or see an episode pop up consistently, you now know why. Um, so let me jump into what's going on. <laughs> Uh, for most of you, if you don't already know, I am the founder of a startup called Walk With Pop. And right now, it's just me. This is year two of the startup, and things are picking up graciously, which has been really exciting. The downside of it is that it's a one person team. So everything comes on me, all of the different aspects of a team is really on me. And as much as I love it, I, I totally love, you know, creating this company and having the control where I need it to be. Um, it's exhausting. It is so exhausting. And after a year of doing this really on my own, excuse me, a year and a half, two years, it's really catching up to me, especially because the momentum has really ramped up in the last three months. And so founder's fatigue has hit me. I've always read stories or I've seen um, – Silicon Valley is one of my favorite shows and just really seeing the effects of stress and exhaustion uh, take a toll on a founder or just anyone really who's doing a lot of work. Um, it's it's definitely caught up to me. So I giggle watching the show, but now I'm there and I'm sick <laughs> because I have all these projects that I'm working on on top of the company, on top of traveling for work on top of taking care of myself and my dogs and just maintaining balance, right? But the body, my brain, I'm a very analytical person, but very mental mind. And it's hard to turn off. You know, there are days at the end where I'm like, man, I wish I had an off button. <laughs> I wish I could just literally hit a switch and my brain can shut off. Um, I do meditate every day, but sometimes I feel that's not enough. Um, possibly that's me telling myself that I really need to maybe amp that up and focus on it more. Um, but it all goes back to balance, right? So I'm doing what I can. And there are some things that I have neglected in the process. Uh, but that goes back to the exhaustion. So right now I am focusing on kind of finding my balance again, making sure that I'm taking care of myself. Being sick has been really hard. 
not gonna lie. <laughs> it's been hard because I don't want to shut off. Um, my brain is just like, oh my goodness, I have, you know, this to do and that to do. And if I, excuse me, if I rest, I'm going to miss this opportunity and all these things that our mind, our monkey mind likes to go through when our body is literally saying, girl, you need to stop. <laughs> and because I didn't listen to that, my body made me stop. So I'm coming out of the cold and I'm feeling much more energetic today, capable of actually getting some things done, pacing myself, and um, truly just finding gratitude in the process. It's allowed me to really take a step back and see where is it that I'm overextending my energy, where are there projects or where are there obligations that maybe aren't in alignment or necessary or priority that I can, you know, take a break from or I can um, allocate time differently there. So yeah, founders fatigue. If anyone is like me and trying to do like 20 projects at once, take it from me. Try to allocate, try to take a step back, try to slow down and really give yourself some time at the end of the day or at the end of the week to just chill, disconnect, decompress. Um, definitely easier said than done, but that is going to be something that I work to integrate from here on out because I have a long road ahead of me, especially again, things are ramping up and uh I don't want to age either <laughs> early, <laughs> unnecessarily age early. So, um, yeah, that's kind of pretty much the basis of this episode. It's going to be short just because, again, I wanted to hop in and let my listeners know that I'm still here. I will find more episodes to come very soon. I will be honest, I haven't had anyone cross my path lately that I find super, super, super interesting to have on the pod. So that's another reason. But again, Walk With Pop has been my most forward priority. And for those who don't know what Walk With Pop is, Walk With Pop is a companion walking service for older adults. It's something very dear to me. Um, if you haven't heard my story, I highly recommend that you go over to our page, walkwithpop.com. You can read all about it there. Um, yeah, it's just, uh, it's really cool to see that come into fruition. And I'm really excited to continue my grandfather's legacy in that aspect and um, help millions of seniors across the nation. So <laughs> uh, if you don't follow me already, follow me on Twitter. You can find me at hello underscore Mercedes. You can also follow Walk With Pop on Twitter at walk with pop. And if you ever need anything or you want to reach out, give me ideas or topics that you feel you want to hear on the pod. Shoot me a DM. My DMs are open. And again, just listen to yourself. Breathe. Ask yourself what you need in this moment. And if you find yourself going and going and going, Drink a lot of vitamin C. <laughs> At least get some sunshine if you can, if it's sunny in your area. And disconnect. Because um, being sick sucks. It really does. And uh, life is better when we're not sick. <laughs> so thanks for listening. I will see you all very soon. And I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.